This is the second in a series of six analysis tools to help you select commercialization opportunities for new technologies or to assess different project or technology options that may be available to you. The next tool we will explore is Net Present Value, NPV. This is a calculation you need to be able to perform with ease. The equation to calculate it is quite simple. PV refers to present value. CI is the cash inflow you expect to make from the new product. X is the discount rate or interest rate that you would expect to receive by simply depositing the money in a bank or investment scheme as a less risky alternative to launching a new product. N is the number of years after which the investment is made that you will receive the cash inflow. In this example, we will use a discount rate of 10% for ease of calculation. So the X component is equal to 1.10. If the interest rate was 5%, it would be 1.05 or 1.15 for a 15% interest rate. It's easy to calculate. So if you expect to bring in 1 million in year 1, the calculation is 1 million divided by 1.1 to the power of 1, which is simply 1 million divided by 1.1. This yields a value of 909,091 in whichever currency you are using. In year 2, the only difference is that the 1.1 factor in the equation is raised to the power of 2, I squared and yields a value of 826,446. This lower value reflects the compound interest that you have lost by not investing the money in a bank over the last two years. The spreadsheet enables you to perform these calculations with ease, and you can change the interest rate to assess the impact of different external conditions on the true value of your projected cash inflows during that period. In this example, a cash inflow of 5 million over 5 years is only worth 3.8 million if the interest rate is consistent at 10% during that period. Unfortunately, many entrepreneurs fail to realise the actual value of investment isn't always as high as you think when you consider what you could have returned by simply putting the money in the bank. Calculating the discount rate is a really important factor to consider when performing all of these calculations. I suggest you have a play with the spreadsheet and look at the impact different cash inflows can have on your long-term profit. For example, try offering an initial discounted price to improve cash flow. This might help your profit and cash inflow if the discount is lower than the external interest rate. This is something I suggest you also try with the next calculation internal rate of return, or IRR.